ago or so we posted a video where uh, we thought that the car is gonna have a thousand horsepower GTR but didn't feel like it didn't look like it especially with GD3 RS moving away from us on a straight line uh, but this here has definitely because it was been measured last night on a dyno 608 608 on, on, the on the wheels on the wheels yes so uh, we can compare how that compares to uh, the alleged 840 horsepower on the wheels that we uh, drove recently uh, anyway there's a very nice story behind this car because I think like five years ago or so by now uh, I made a video with Oleg from Atomic explaining all the mods you should put on your GTR to make it work for the track and then you ran across that video and like this is what I need so before I had a GTR <laughs> Um, I actually watched that video because this is my dream car. Uh -huh. The Nismo is my dream of beyond the dream. But I watched that video in basically in preparation of what I'm going to do in the future. Mm. So when I did buy my dream, GT well, the GTR, two and a half years later, I pretty much used that video as a canvas or, or picture to how mine should, should operate. Nice, yeah. nice. Very cool, very cool. So there, are, I guess the mod list goes pretty much endless. There's a lot of there's things. A that lot, there's a lot of mods. I think easiest is when we include something in the video description where people can read all about it. Yes. I think that's easiest. But um, yeah, mostly, importantly, the cooling has been done, like all the transmission cooling, diff cooling, yeah. all kinds of stuff in the, the front HKS as well. Transmission cooler, we've got bigger intercooler, um, oil temp switch, dots and oil temp switch. We've got the bigger better um, cooling housing so mm -hmm. it works a lot the, the brakes have been changed or like pads modified or anything uh, the pads front pads are PBS race pads yeah front discs are 390 mil we've got brake cooling ducts as well nice um, these are basically T37 engraved yeah so I've got the Nismo engravement there cool uh, lightweight wheels uh, running 285 square setup Trofeo R's they're pretty nice White line front rear anti roll bar uh, with drop links. Um, everything you can everything think of. Everything amazing. I've pretty much tried to do it so um, it's not as stiff as it can be. Yeah. Um, but there will be some scraping. My All right. tray is kind of sticking out, but don't be alarmed by that. You okay. Can, you can push it. Well, let's hop in and do a lap before the track closes or Definitely. something. I'm excited. Definitely. Let's yeah. do that. Exciting. Exciting. Let's see what. Uh, 2009 can do. <laughs> yeah, 2009 GTR. We didn't. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. No. Uh, yeah. 608. Eight horsepower. Power, so, yeah. Shift point around seven. Seven and a half. Okay. Kind of speeds we were doing, but 
car is good. <laughs> so yellow flag, first impression, power, mwah. Oleg did fantastic job from Atomic. I think it's perfect, fantastic. Uh, what, oh, do think, what do you think of the handling, suspension? Yeah. The Marshall not waving yellow because yeah. here is yellow, but they're not. Yeah, no, um, you need a bit stiffer shocks because the car is still like, yeah, I should have put it in the hardest. I, yeah, I'd put but it in the softer setting for the daily driving. Yeah. This is probably like really good, okay, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, for track, it feels like a bit that's my moving. fault. Oh, yeah. yeah, so let's warm up the tires in the yellow zone because we need that. Yeah, I should have put it a bit stiffer. That's yeah. my fault. No, but it's like, I'm on, I think. The purpose of this video was to see if the car works, yeah. and especially the tune-wise, the power, how it, what was that going to feel, yeah. and it's uh, fantastic. Good. Yeah, so Good. it's... I don't know, but is it still yellow? Is it like... It's hard to say. Well, we'll see at the exit on the north first. Especially after the climb under full load, that's where all the cars are actually going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we also see plenty of cars that even after the first corner, it like <laughs> temperature shoots through the roof. So yeah, I mean at the moment, oil temp is at uh, uh, that 102 cooling is good. That's good. Trans is yeah. good. So not not too bad. Really, really good.
grab limiter, then it up, upshifted, then yeah. I upshifted, okay. uh, and that's when the car probably was like, yeah, what the fuck's happening here? <laughs> so it's a uh, benefit of the doubt, because the damps are good and it yeah. came back again, so. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm sure they're gonna close the track, it's like yellow everywhere. It's like, I don't know, traffic light uh, drag racing experience with yeah. this car, you know? Yeah. It's like, alright, so it's green, go, 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 and oh, we need to slow down again, oh. Suspension is soft, but it's your yeah, first rollout, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's, you never pushed it this much. It's a combination with Trofeo R's with the same mistakes. Yeah. It's just like in corners, it's like it sets, it settles more. It's yeah. And you felt it, like the, yeah. it's really like bouncing on the. So it, yeah. can, it can be like a proper weapon. Yeah. Like for, for the track. Yeah. yeah. The most important thing is that it's survived, it's all good, and the track is closed as we expected. At least so, we got a lap in, so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll just set the suspension to hard settings. I was just worried it was just to be a bit too stiff, mm. um, but at least the option is there to, yeah. to, to set it right. So. No, that's really good. Towards the end of the lap, once I got confident with the car, it started like become really like yeah. alive. So awesome, man. Really, Honestly. really good. Really enjoyed it. Something I'll remember. Happy to hear. Oh, the brakes! Ooh! Yes. Smoking, yeah, smoking. Yeah, smoking yeah, we should keep on driving as much as we can in this fantastic traffic jam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 